Well, I hope you're having a great day. Uh, this is your devotional for March 23rd, continuing through the book of James, still in chapter 3, and we're looking at James 3, verses 6 through 8. Uh, nothing subtle about this passage, so pay attention and you'll pick up what I'm talking about. The tongue also is a fire, a world of evil among the parts of the body. It corrupts the whole body and sets the whole course of one's life on fire and is itself set on fire by hell. Like I said, not subtle. And then it goes on. All kinds of animals, birds, reptiles, and sea creatures are being tamed and have been tamed by mankind. But no human being can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil full of deadly poison. Man, set on fire by hell. Restless evil filled with poison. It's like, well, you know, James, are you overdoing it a little bit? Well, these are words inspired by the Holy Spirit, and it may feel dramatic, but let, let me ask you a question. What have been some of the most painful moments of your entire life? My guess is if you could isolate the two or three or four times that have been most painful, it's involved the words of somebody. Somebody who said, I love you, and now they say, I don't love you anymore. Somebody who's, who's you've trusted, and they say, I don't trust you. Somebody who, who lies about you, who gossips about you, the power of our words, James says, it's like a fire set on, you know, the, the, the world set on fire because of our words. It's like, it's like poison. And, and when, he fin when he finally says, it's like it's set on fire by hell itself. And, and then what's really interesting in this passage is that James says, listen, we as people have tamed all kinds of animals. And it seems almost, almost discouraging, but it's not meant to be. He says, but no one can tame the tongue. You may be able to tame a wild animal, but you'll never tame the tongue. Is he saying that to discourage us? Absolutely not. He's saying it because it's true. And, and, and God wants you and me to be ever vigilant and ever careful. If you drop your guard with the things you say, you will regret what you say. When I'm not careful with my words, my words can cut and burn and do incredible damage. The same mouth that preaches the gospel of Jesus, the same mouth that, that does my ministerial work, can become a mouth that is so harsh and so judgmental, I have to guard my mouth. So, wild animals can be tamed, your tongue can't be tamed, so guard your tongue, watch your tongue as best you can, and don't let damage come through the words you say. Instead, learn to bless others, and we'll talk more about that next week. Jesus, this is our prayer, that our words would honor you, that our tongues would be in check, that we would learn to guard what we say, and Lord, let us never be so confident that I'd never say something harsh. I'd never be judgmental. I'd never hurt someone with my words. Lord, the minute we drop our guard is the time we're in trouble. Keep us to be ever cautious of our words. And we dare to even pray that we would not only learn to not harm others with our words, but we could find ways to bless and encourage others with the things we say. We pray this in Jesus' beautiful and glorious name. Amen. Hey, we have services at 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock this Sunday on campus at Shoreline in the Worship Center, outdoors in the courtyard, great space to spread out and gather with us for worship in the family worship venue and online. We'll see you this weekend.